Day 19, I think, and we started in the hallway. That started it all. I'm kidding. Um, but I'm walking to Zusha's, as I always do. The lighting is so weird here. Okay, so I don't have a vlog for today. Like, literally, I don't, I don't have anything to do. I, like, started packing for Slovakia, but then I realized, like, what's the point in doing that if, like... I'm not ready to pack. I don't have everything that I need yet to pack, so there's no point. So I just stopped doing that. So now I'm here because Zuzia and I are making tacos. That beef taco. <laughs> this is vegan kamya titty. So I really thought that you weren't done cooking, so I would have like something to put in the vlog, but I don't want to go outside today. Like I have nothing to do. Anyway, so I'm here to like eat and to knit, so that's gonna be my day, and we're gonna watch 90 Day Fiance? Couples Tell All. Couples Tell All? That's the last one. Oh. Cool, but still, that sucks. I wanted some more fucking drama. Do we have a, a new episode of, um, what's that other show that we watch? No, yes, yes, and- there's a new Marriage Boot Camp. Marriage Boot Camp. No, 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 no. I want to watch the drama that is 90 Day Fiance. Anyway, so I'm sorry. Today's gonna be like really boring. I was thinking of things that I can do, but I'm like, right now what I'm doing today is I'm planning out all the videos that I need to post while I'm gone in Slovakia. Because Vlogmas ends on Christmas, which kind of sucks and I really don't like that because I feel like it should end at the end of the month. Um, it gives me anxiety that it ends like on Christmas, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I've been like emptying out my computer, making sure all my SD cards that I got from my wish list are um, all empty because I've been using them for my vlogs and stuff like that. So lots of fun things today. Like I'm literally doing nothing that's fun. Anyways, let's eat the tacos. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, look at that avocado. So I put um, candy canes in my tacos because that's how I am in my Beef tacos? Is that even vegan? Wow! So once again, you get to follow me on this boring day. Currently, I am editing five thumbnails for the videos that are coming up um, in December, in the end of December, and uh, in January when I'm gone to Slovakia. So I'm gonna give you a little peek because not everyone watches these vlogs. So uh, for the like the, I think I usually get around three, four thousand views on these vlogs. Um, so I just wanted to just, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek because no one knows which videos are coming out. So here's the thumbnail that I'm currently working on. Yes, that is the Easy P. I have re-reviewed the Easy P. So this video will be coming out shortly. Oh my God, is there anything embarrassing like on my desktop? Like I don't want. <laughs> Whatever. She cute. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm telling you. That's 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 all that there is. So I'm gonna be doing that, and then I'm gonna go knit. Like literally, this day is nothing because it, it's not a weekday, so I can't go to the bank. I can't. I don't really want to go to the pharmacy. Like I don't want to go outside today. I know these vlogs are supposed to get me outside of the house, but like today is just one of those days. Also, I was eating tacos before, as you saw, but I have this like cut on my lip, which lip, and I don't know how. It got there, and every time I open my mouth wide to get to put that taco in my mouth, it was like it was like someone was slicing me open. So that's fun. But yeah, so somebody is coming at like 5:30 to come pick up the key for the house because they're taking care of uh, the pussy when I'm gone. Oh, I'm gonna miss them so much. I hate leaving them. Baby. Baby. All right, so I'm doing the same stuff right now. I am just literally on my computer, just editing video stuff, last minute stuff before I go to Slovakia. So two things, okay? I am finally going to get a P.O. box. I checked the prices, and they're not actually as expensive as I thought, and so many of you have been asking for my P.O. box, and I also think it'll be a lot safer for like my Amazon wish list and stuff like that. So I will be going to the post office tomorrow, a couple of them actually, and seeing which ones have post office bo boxes available and getting one and I will put the the address of the P.O. box in my video descriptions from now on when I get one. So that's really exciting. Second thing is I want to talk about my apartment and my living situation. So as most of you know, Ash moved out and I need to find another roommate. Now I have a lot of anxiety and the 
the thought of living with someone else that I don't know, some random person from the internet, is so anxiety inducing that I am completely ignoring the problem and realizing that I need to figure this out right now because I'm gonna have to pay all of the rent, which I can't afford. <laughs> so. Um, I've reached out to like everywhere that I know that is looking for roommates, um, like the queer Montreal, Craigslist, Kijiji, everywhere. There seems to be like no one moving or the people that are moving, I, I don't think that it would be a good fit. And this is a problem for me and I feel very restricted in making my videos when I have roommates, um, especially when I had a roommate before Allison that lived here and I literally couldn't make videos like it was so bad I felt so restricted So this is giving me a lot of anxiety, right? So I'm just trying to figure this out And I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it and kind of ask you for help Which is like really fucking embarrassing and like I feel super guilty about this, but a couple of people told me hey just like Ask your people my little bees just ask them So let me explain to you my apartment situation I live in the living room, which is great because it's big. Um, don't really have that much privacy though, but I have enough room for my videos, for the podcast, for everything, which is great. I can't afford this place on my own, it's too much money, so I either have to find a roommate or I have to move. The other issue with this apartment is there are roaches everywhere, and that's not something that I want to talk about because I'm trying to ignore the problem, but because it's super embarrassing, but also I can't ignore it because it's been going on for many months, like maybe a year now. Two exterminators have come to exterminate the areas and I, we've used so many different products and we have like 40 traps around the house. We, I don't know who we is, I'm talking about myself. I have 40 traps around this apartment and they're still everywhere and they're actually mostly in the kitchen, which is disgusting. I feel like I haven't fucking cooked a meal for myself in like three weeks because it's disgusting and they're everywhere and I'm trying everything that I can. When I use a dish, I clean it right away, but they're still there and I don't know what I'm doing wrong or whatever. So the, the problem with roaches is actually my apartment building, the one right on top and the right on the bottom. Apparently this is what my landlord tells me. Zuja has no problem, never has any roaches, like Gucci. And Zuja lives like kind of further down the building, so that's good. So I wanna move. So I asked my landlord, can you show me an apartment that's a three and a half? So that's one bedroom, a living room, a kitchen and a bath room. <laughs> So he showed me and he told me the price and I was like, oh shit, that's that's expensive. I don't think I can do it. And I don't know. I want to live alone. I think it's time for me to live alone. I think it's time for me to have enough space to have my things and to not feel anxious about my area and just feel comfortable in where I live. So. This is what I'm asking for for you guys. I wanted to tell you my living situation and I want to tell you that I want to move into this apartment. So I'm asking for your help. So in January and the months after that, I'm going to be working a lot less hours because I am finishing my thesis and the like the just the thought of like graduating like is that that it's a real thing that's going to happen is just like freaking me out, which is like I'm going to finish my thesis soon. Like that's awesome. Fuck. Sorry, I just like I just can't believe it, but um, that means that I can't work as many hours as I usually would, which is a problem because I need to pay for rent and stuff like that. So basically, long story short, um, I am asking for your help and I'm not asking for you to donate like all this money to me at all. No, I have a Patreon page, which every month people pledge an amount to give to me. Um, people have pledged like a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. I'm not asking for huge amounts at all. I'm actually asking just for one dollar from like if that's what you want to pledge. If you want to pledge more, that's fun for you. That's awesome and thank you. But if you can only pledge one dollar a month, that's nothing. That's perfect. Like nothing as in that's nothing for you, but it's like a lot for me, especially if 200 people are pledging a dollar, then that's $200. And um, I'll tell you that if I do move into this apartment that I'm thinking of, my cost of living would go up $300. So it is a significant amount. But if I'm able to get help from you guys through this Patreon, and yo man, that makes me sound so desperate and like, I'm relying on you for my safety and my life, but I don't know what to do anymore. And People have told me it's a good idea to ask you, my little bees, about this, so I am asking just for some help. Check out my Patreon page. I have some perks also, like a Twitter follow. I have some monthly live streams that are only accessible to people who donate, uh, who give a specific amount monthly. So, um, yeah, so the, I just wanted to say if you want to help, there it is. Um, I would love to live in a place that doesn't have roaches because it's freaking me out. Um, but yeah, 
trust me, like thinking about moving out of this building is like too much anxiety. Plus, I'd have to rent a mover. I have too much stuff, and that's like that ain't about this life right now. <laughs> so at least if I lived in this building, like I would feel okay. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, I should do. Um, I talked to Zuja and Aaron. Both I couldn't live with them. By the way, a lot of people are like move with Aaron. I'm like Aaron. I can't live with him, and he can't live with me. Like I'm not moving there, and he can't. Move. Like it wouldn't work because he's not ready to move. Too much anxiety. Let's not even go there. Zuja's apartment too small and allergic to cats like crazy. So, actually, the apartment that I'm thinking of moving in looks exactly like Zuja's. It just kind of like it looks a little bit different. So it's big, um, which is great <laughs> for me and my videos and my cats and stuff like that. Um, so if you have any advice on what I should do, please let me know. I would like to kind of finalize this apartment thing and like tell my landlord that I'll take it and try to deal with all of these things that I'm going through right now. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like a fucking desperate asshole. I'm sorry. If you think that I'm like an asshole and I shouldn't like do this stuff because I don't want to, I don't want you to ever think I'm taking advantage of you ever. Because I'm not, and I'm not like, oh, you love me, give me money. Never, never, no, 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 no. My content will always be free. I want to do this. This is this, this is the job that I want to do, and I want to get paid, but I don't want you to pay me. You know what I'm saying? But I think that at this moment, in order to continue doing the things that I love and to be able to have a sound mind and be emotionally okay, I think that I need to move. And having your help would be amazing. But yeah. Anyway, sorry that I added this in this vlog. I know that that's like not super cool because I really didn't want to do this during Vlogmas, but honestly, like this apartment just kind of came up and I'm leaving for Slovakia in three days, but I just kind of want to figure this out. So let me know what you think and uh, let's just continue this vlog. I ain't done yet. So Zuzia, what do you think about me moving into a different apartment? I think you really should. Please do it. Like, I don't... You don't like the roaches? <sighs> best friends. I don't like the brooches and like my children deserve better. I feel like you're looking at my cat wall and you're like and I don't like the cat wall so you need to get rid of that. No I was thinking like that's gonna be such a bitch to move. <laughs> I know and I'm gonna take a picture and make sure that it's all in the same order. It's gonna take so long though. Do you know the rest of the cats? Yeah. Maybe you could no, 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 freshen no. up? No 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 it ain't changing. I have so much anxiety about the idea of moving that moving this wall into a different, because people think that's a poster. Uh-uh, baby, I did that, 126 cat pictures. I did that. Also, I wanted to thank whoever bought Zuja the, yes, the stuff so on much. the Amazon wish list because I could see that some of the products that the products, the books that I had put on there for Zuja, specifically saying that people were asking for Zuja's wish list, so I added stuff on my list that says Zuja. Well, like three of the things are gone, so. And I and I hope that you know that they were for me. And if and and if you didn't, then you should get your money back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but if you did, then thank you. And yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, we'll probably get it though after. That's okay. Two of those books are for like my counseling practice, so. Okay. Um, yeah, so um, I'm just gonna end this vlog. Sorry I did nothing today and just kind of like begged you for money and I'm like embarrassed, but I just thought I'd tell you an update on my situation at work, at work, at, at home, work. because it's like, this is my work and I'm not comfortable in my own home <clears throat> and I think that I should do something better. And I talked about my anxiety about moving, period. <laughs> my idea of even moving into a different unit into this building is anxiety. Can you imagine me moving wow. buildings? And moving somewhere else, like in La LaSalle or something, or Verdun, oh my god. <laughs> well, it'll be the start of my semester so I can ne neglect my responsibilities. <laughs> Bless. Like I'm doing right now, because I have an exam. <clears throat> I'm scared of living alone, honestly. Aww. A little bit. But I think it would be good for my mental health. I'm getting old. I need to like start being responsible by asking the internet for money. Anyways, thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow is Monday. I don't have a vlog. We're going to do something. Exciting tomorrow. Don't yes. tell them it's exciting. Okay, day 20 is gonna be skeet skeet. I'm sorry about this fucking color. My hair's all over. The I'm making vegan chicken and it smells good, so I'm gonna go eat that. And look, look at sexy Ty's face. Look at this. Al harambe. Ablito. I don't even know if you can see him. Probably not. He's probably like all out of focus because I can't see. Minubli. Love you. Have a swell. Think of B.